Welcome to the Solid Camp Professor video series called Jumpstart, the easy way to learn Solid Camp. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and we'll start with part one of our first lesson in Solid Camp. In this video, we will be familiarizing you with selecting a CNC controller to handle our G code output, creating a home position for the part, also known as coordinate system adding stock material to the part, and defining our target model. We'll start with the simple cover that we have on our screen. We will begin by selecting new on the SolidCam toolbar located at the top of our screen. Selecting milling brings up our new milling part dialog that handles the saving of our CAM project. The first field shows exactly where the part will be saved. This is controlled either by going into the default area, which is set in our SolidCam settings, or by clicking on Use Model File Directory and storing it in the folder where our SolidWorks model is already saved. Our second field will be giving us the name of our CAM project. SolidCam uses the SolidWorks part name as a default. And our third field is just showing us exactly which SOLIDWORKS part is being put into the CAM project. When I click on OK, it brings us to our CAM part definition. Our first step is selecting a CNC controller to handle our G-code output. In this particular case, I'll be using the Fanuc controller. The next step of operations will be actually creating our coordinate system, also known by many people as their home position. By clicking on Define, it opens up all the options I need in order for me to create my home position. As we see here, we have four different options of how to create our home position. We'll start with our first option and also our most used option called Select Face. By choosing Select Face, the moment I click on a specific face, the home position or the coordinate system will be created exactly with the z-axis perpendicular to that face. Now in this particular case, I have selected top center of model box from the place coordinate system origin to dialog. We will get into these other options later. Now when I click on any surface of my part, it will automatically create a home position at the very top center of that part as shown here. The coordinate system axes are represented graphically by color. The X axis is represented by the red line, the Y axis by the green line, and the Z axis by the blue line. When this process is done, I click on the check mark on the top, which brings us to our next window that controls our levels. Just a quick run through of what these represent. The tool start level is the level where the tool comes to directly after the tool change and where the tool length compensation is activated. The clearance level is the level where the tool will retract to when moving from one area of the part to the next. The part upper level represents the upper level and the part lower level represents the lower level of the part. I'll accept this by clicking on OK. And now we have just created our first home position. This is all we need for now, and we'll click on OK. Now, our next step is creating and defining our stock. There are several ways of creating and selecting our stock in SolidCam, but for the purpose of this video, I will use our most common option called Auto Box. By clicking on Define and selecting a surface on our part model, it will automatically create a bounding box around the outside of our target model. We have control of how much material is added to the target model in six directions. So for example, in my X plus and X minus direction, as well as my Y plus and Y minus direction, I will leave it at two millimeters past the part. In my Z plus direction, I'll add only 0.5 millimeters of stock material on the top of the my part, and I will add five millimeters in the Z minus direction, so I have material to clamp onto when we are machining this part. As you alter the numbers in the dialog boxes, the stock material is updated graphically in real time. 
once we have these dimensions set, we can accept our stock by selecting the check mark, and our stock is now complete, and we can move on to defining our target. My target is basically used for certain simulations that we find it necessary to use the target operation, which we'll explain a lot more in detail as we go on through our lessons. To create our target, we begin by selecting the target button, click on Define 3D Model, and select any face of the model. It will list it here as Solid 1. Our target is now successfully defined, and clicking the check mark, we move back to our original window. We select this green check and move to our SolidCam Manager, and can now begin adding toolpath to machine our part. This concludes part one of our first lesson in Jumpstart. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.